Hi, in this video I want to show you how to write out an XML file from a record. So let's establish our record. Now we can use the record from our previous projects and we just want to write the information from that record to our XML file. For me, um, I'll just quickly copy and paste from it so from some project. Let's get started. Right, so over here I've got uh, my my XML project already, and the form is blank. And you'll notice here the staff record we've used in previous um, projects, which is the same. I haven't changed that name and age. So please go to those videos and create this particular record class so that we can use it for our XML reader writer. All right, so the great thing about visualbasics.net as opposed to some other you know, C Sharp or something else is um, it's got a built-in XML XDoc object. I don't have to import anything. I've got it ready. So the actual document is, the actual object is, um, well, I'll call it xdoc because I know what it is. You don't know that, but I'll call it, but it's called xdocument. And I'm going to go new xdocument. And this is the very thing that we will use to construct our XML. I don't need that actually in this language. But before I do that, let's pretend that there's a, Let's let's make some staff. Let's 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 put in some staff. Let's have some staff members available for us to turn into. Um, let's call it uh, staff members. Uh, staff. Uh, let's call it staff. Why not? Staff as list of staff records and new list of staff record and let's call staff record can't spell let's add some staff members into it let's add myself as new staff record let's add myself let's add him and my age I'm definitely 25 and I'm sure you all agree with that let's add Carol now this guy clearly he's clearly uh, 65 definitely right and now let's add some random person that doesn't exist in our school called um, Morrison and let's just make her 34 all right so our goal is these items here we want to write them out into an XML file and if and if we write it out into an XML file um, w w the root will be the root will be staff the the child will be staff member and I'll make, and then the fields will be name and age. All right, so that's kind of what we, where we're going by. So as an example, it's going to look something like this, some kind of XML you know, declaration, whatever. All right, and then we'll have like staff like this, and then like an end staff. So this is our root, All right? And we're going to have a, like a sub child or a child, sorry, a child of um, like a staff member. That's our goal, we want a staff member. And then we have a sub child name of that staff member, whatever it is in, in the and uh, that and then another sub child age right and then finally kind of the 
end tag to the member, which is the record. And we're gonna have a bunch of these. We're gonna have a lot of, we're gonna have three of these actually. And that's our goal. We want an XML file that looks something like that. All right, so what we're going to do is we need to now, we need to now construct our XML. So first thing we need to do is we need to have a list that will add all of these things. And each XML tag here, you could say, this kind of thing here, we call this an X element. So I need to add these two fields into like a, like a basically a list of X elements. So I'll need to create a, a list of X elements. So these will be our fields. These are, I'm gonna call it X fields, because it's X element fields as list of X elements. All right, so we need to equals new list of x list of x not x elements x element without an s. All right, x element. All right, so we actually we're trying to make these two things, and what we do what we'll do is we'll um we'll iterate over these staff records. And this is a new thing, you, ha you probably haven't learned this, but there's a, what, what we call the for each loop. And the for each loop, you don't have to put in um, like a, a number for a start and a number for an end, where we would if we were to access arrays. Because these things are um, different, we can use a for each. And what we can do is we can go for each member in staff. So, it's, so for each member, each of these members in this staff, it kind of abstracts it for us. We can go um, x fields dot add a new x element. X element, I can't spell again. X element. Um, x element, we want to add in the name which is member dot, see this member here, this is one of the members dot name. And x field dot add new x, cut new, new, what's going on here, uh, w, x, element age so that's our age tag and we want to go member dot age I need to put another bracket put another bracket is it no no that's right I don't know what the issue is uh all oh, right 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 so um this new element should close wrong wrong way of doing it and put another bracket now bracket all right all right so I'm constructing I'm adding because I know my XML file I know what it looks like I know what's supposed to look like I'm uh, I'm basically I need to know uh, I need to define that this this tag name is name and I want to put the actual name which is him for it. and then age the tag is age like the tag is age and inside here which is this thing I'm going to put uh, 25 and I want to do that for every member of staff. So there's three of them. So now my fields will be a list of tags here, tags with their values. And what I'll do is I'm going to then add, I'm going to, I'll need, I'll need, I'll need a, um, what is this fields? I'll need to add each of this field into a member, so into my staff member. So I need another list. Yeah, another list and you go dim and to be honest these fields I can just like put them straight into here because really I need to create new fields for different staff members anyway but I'll need to add this field to the record so I need some kind of staff um, staff uh, what is it staff what are we going to staff x we call it x staff x staff members and we need a, we need this to be also a 
a um, list of x elements. So what I'm making is a list of these staff members because I'm going to have three of these. So this is a list and I add this list to each staff member. And then I'm going to have a bunch of staff members, a list of staff members that I'll add, I'll just show you, a list of staff members, right? A list of staff members that I'll add to the staff root. So this is going to be the list of staff members. This is the list of fields, which is these things. All right, let's do that. Uh, I need to go equals new list of x element and then here I just go x staff members dot add new x x element staff member staff member because that's the tag for the one staff member and I'm just going to add the x fields which is um, a bunch of oh, wrong place which is a a bunch of elements associated with this particular staff member. Finally, when this loop finishes, I'll have three staff members in X staff members here, and I just need to add that to the root. So I'm going to go X doc X doc dot add new X element. And our root is going to be staff x element. So this is going to be staff. I'll use capitals. I like the look of capitals. And x, we're going to add all the staff members that we've um, constructed here. And close bracket. And that's pretty much it. So there's a bit of um, work to do to construct our um, data structure for our XML file, but we've done it. So the fields get added to the members. Each, each field gets added to its respective members. Each, all of the list of members gets added to the root. And finally, it's xdoc.save, and we can save it to an XML file called staff.xml. Let's have a look at what's inside and hope for the best. I want to use Notepad to open up an XML file. But by default, it might not open in the right thing. But an XML file is pretty much a, a text file with a, a weird name, with a .xml extension to it. Uh, let's go and just load it. And look, good luck. So what I need to do is, when the form loads, it will do all of this. Do, 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 do. And voila, you can see here, perfect. This is exactly what we want. We've got the, the root here. We've got the first staff member, the second staff member, the third staff member. And it's looking really good there. All right, so um, that pretty much concludes reading in an XML file from a record and to be honest you can construct you can add whatever fields you want to be honest and you can name these whatever you want these tags to be called so they don't have to be called name and tag you can go first name last name you know you can add whatever you want you're constructing this yourself you know how you want it to look and if when we load the xml file we need to know exactly how this thing is structured so we can load it so you need knowledge of this that's why it's human readable so that when you look at this and go, hey, I'm, I, I can see these tags. I need to know what these tags are so I can go and access them when I load them in. Anyway, thank you for listening and I'll see you in the, the next video.